These are the Olympic Games. No, not the ones that likely first come to your mind. But for really smart young people from more than 1,600 teams and 40 nations, the World Robotics Championship is their Olympics. They gather each year in Louisville, Kentucky, from middle school kids to college, for a chance to compete against each other, for a chance to prove their robot is nuts and bolts the best. There's nothing more that's going to be any more fun than doing this, though, right? I no matter so. what you do in life, there's nothing more than working yeah. fun. Than I will miss them. I will miss them. You will miss them? Yes. I will miss them when I leave. Dylan Lopez is graduating soon from the Polytechnic University in Cancun, Mexico. For him, the robots are not just wheels, gears, pulleys, and metal. Are they like your babies? Yes. <laughs> this, this, are, this is my baby, for example. We, this is the one I've been working for, I don't know, like five, six months. Really? Yes. And there's been changes and all, all of it. Changes because the robots must be built to exact specifications. And when they are in the ring, the robots must hurl balls at flags, flip discs, and lift them onto a post, all the while keeping the other team's robots from outscoring them. Not easy. But the Cancun team has a teacher and coach who's pretty darn good at building a winning robot. So what did you have to do when your team won? Uh, we created a robot that takes sacks from the opponent fence and put in our fence. So you stole the other team's sacks? Yeah. We won because we made a robot that made that. The other teams only block the fence. They only block it. They only block you, it. Your robot took the sacks. Yeah. I don't know. That was fair? Eh, was fair. I think you changed the rules a little bit. We bend it only. Six years ago, Manuel Flores and his teammates won the world championship. For a team from Mexico, fairly new to robotics competitions, it was quite an accomplishment. What are you more proud of? What you accomplished or what you're accomplishing now with this team? I love to see how my students uh, practice all the knowledge I give to them. We work in their project Monday, Tuesday through Saturdays. Every time we have a little time free, we are going to the workshop to practice, to programming, to build the robot. What satisfies you the most? The most? When I see uh, my, one of my students achieve their dreams. Flores has a dream too. He wants to see robotics taught in schools all across Mexico, and he's hoping to find the resources to create a robotics academy to get more students involved. You see that as important for these young people to have these yeah. the skills and the, to learn this? Yes. They discover new uh, skills they don't know they have. For example, some kids uh, see the math, mathematics too difficult, programming too difficult. With a robot, they learn more easily, and it's not boring. It's because it's fun. It's fun. Teams from across the Caribbean and Latin America came to the World Championship from places like Puerto Rico, Paraguay, and Colombia. The Cancun team was one of several from Mexico. In an effort one can only assume to scare the opponent, kids from one of the Mexican teams wore Day of the Dead masks. This team from Tampico, Mexico, brought their own 3D printer, and they've been 3D printing the gears the robot uses for the competition. The competition is fast and nonstop, one match after another. Two teams with four robots in the ring. For 10 seconds, the robots must work autonomously. For the next two minutes, they are controlled by a team driver. The team from the small town of Capula, Mexico, had their hands full. But for these high school students, just being here is a win, says their coach, Gustavo Reyes. We've been working more than 10 hours per day, all these, all these uh, two weeks. Uh, the kids sacrifice their vacation 
to accomplish the dream to participate on this. And yeah, we, we receive a lot of financial help, but we put all the effort and all the time other than the money. Some of the toughest teams are from China. Every year they send a huge delegation from schools across the country. Is it considered a real honor to be part of this? Uh, yeah, because there are a lot of schools in China that focus a lot. They have really large uh, robotics departments and lots of them are competing to be here. Many Chinese students um, join some robot competitions and uh, they can get prize and uh, practice their um, practice their um, ability to program a building and um, controlling the car so they have maybe they have the best they will have a better chance to go to a better high schools the Shishi middle school brought 14 team members every year they are one of the favorites and every year Chinese teams have some of the top robots I think it's a good robot he uh, it's almost can do everything what do you want to do when you grow up um, science yeah I want to be a scientist maybe about biology the organization running the world championship is the robotics education and competition foundation rec its title sponsor is vex robotics while not all of them came to Louisville, there are VEX robotics teams in schools in 60 countries, and it's growing every year. Five years ago, there were 10,000 teams. Today, the number is a staggering 25,000 in 15,000 schools. Dan Mance is CEO of REC. What does that say to you? It says two things to me, that we recognize the need for STEM education, and parents and schools are committed to it and committed to starting robotics teams. It also says to me that this is the right program that's interesting these kids. Building robots and competing with them is clearly the lure that brings in the kids, but it's far more. It's a means to an end, a way to prepare them for today's technologically driven economy. It's not just to get engineering degrees too, it's also for your modern workforce. Um, today's factories, today's manufacturing centers, they're all automation, they're all robotics. So being in this program, you're actually getting the skills that you need for any type of job from a factory maintenance worker who's repairing robots all the way to your nuclear chemistry. As a way to level the playing field, so to speak, for underserved rural and inner city schools, the REC Foundation provides all the educational materials free and it provides matching grants to any school district in the world that wants to start a VEX robotics team. The major initiative at this year's World Championships is called Girl Power. Three years ago, 23% of the participants were girls. Today, it's 37%. But there's still room for a lot of growth. Three years ago, a statistic came out that of all the STEM jobs in the United States, only 23% were filled by women. And when we went back and looked at our program, we had the exact same statistic. The 15% increase over three years is attributed to focusing on bringing girls into STEM fields. And in the elementary schools, it's even better. We're at 47% of the students in our program are young women. 47% in elementary schools are young women? 47% are young women. Perhaps surprisingly, the young women we talked with either don't like the focus or simply shrug it off. Quite honestly, I don't really pay much attention to the, to the Girl Power initiative. I, I'm just here to do robotics. I don't think they need to push Girl Power as much as they do, because if a girl's going to be interested in engineering, she's going to be interested in it for doing engineering. The way I think about it is, if you, you're pushing this as two different, two separate things, people are going to treat it separately. So, like, I really don't like how we're, we're being considered as women in engineering. I would like just, like, to be considered as engineers in general. Yet, the experience of participating in the World Championship can be life-changing. Take it from one who knows, Mexico's Manuel Flores. There's another world. There's more than the, he knows. There's a big world he can dream. There's not only her own little reality. The reality is that the few days spent here opens these young people's eyes 
and lays the groundwork for their future. All because they built a robot.